Hello friends, so in this specific video, uh, I'm going to discuss overfitting and underfitting in machine learning. So guys, uh, we already have uh, learned some terms like supervised learning and unsupervised learning. In case of supervised learning, we all know that uh, we need some training data. We need, uh, let's say, some teacher which is going to teach us or which is going to train us on some specific, uh, you can say, a problem. <clears throat> so we have some training data. On that training data, we train the machine. And then we actually try and we just expect that this machine will work as the same with the, the original data as it is working with the training data. If you're specifically talking about, uh, say, overfitting and underfitting, I just want to explain you uh, the concept with a specific, uh, you can say, uh, example, suppose we are saying we are training a person for any specific interview or for any specific job purpose. And when it it submitted resume or it goes there for interviews or something, and it is um, it is asked ask to that person that you are overfit for this specific job or you are underfit that for that specific job that means there should be some specific requirement and you should totally be generalized with that one if you are not generalized if you are not exactly fulfilling the requirements of that specific position you will either be overfit or underfit for that uh, particular position so guys in case of machine learning if we are saying that we are training the machines for some specific purpose as we can say that there is a concept of target function in machine learning okay it basically best understood as approximating a target function that maps input variable x to the output variable of y say we have some inputs there and on the basis of that input we are just returning some output to that one Okay, so the important consideration that we do in learning is the target function from the training data is how well the model generalizes. Okay, that we are talking specifically that there should be a generalized formations of the data. The machine should understood or should give the result in a generalized way, not very, um, not you can say more more than approximation and not less than approximation. So generalization is very important because the data we collect is only a sample. Okay, we are just training the machine in a sample data. It is incomplete and noisy. And when we are working with the original data, in that case, it will be huge. So the, uh, the machine should uh, give the result in more precise way, right? If you are talking about generalization in machine learning, so we can say generalization refers to how well the concept learned by the machine learning model applied to specific examples not seen by the model when it was learning. So at the time of training data, we have uh, a less amount of data. And when we will actually implement them, it's, it, it, it's some organization or it is in some problems, then in that case, there will be a huge amount of data and that the machine didn't seen before. In that case, it should basically um, provide the results, the same, um, you can say accuracy as it was doing with the training data. So there is a terminology used in machine learning when we talk about how well a machine learning model learns and generalizes the new data that's called overfitting and underfitting. Basically, these overfitting and underfitting are two biggest causes for poor performance of machine learning algorithms. What overfitting is, basically. Uh, overfitting refers to a model that models the training data too well. So we trained the model in more than uh, the specific way. Okay, we, we trained it too well way. So overfitting, when overfitting happens, basically, when a model learns the detail uh, and noise in the training data to the extent that it negatively impacts the performance of model on a new data. So suppose you are uh, training, uh, say, a boy in a local swimming pool or in a pond. In that case, you are training him uh, very accurately. But sometimes you know, when you will um, let him to participate in, say, an international size swimming pool, in that case, what will happen? It could be possible that uh, the boy has learned it too well and uh, he's performing the swimming in a generalized way and it, he, he wins the race. It could be possible that he is not able to uh, say work on that one. Uh, he, he will not be able to swim in that uh, international level uh, swimming pool. And it might be possible that it overfits it. As you can see in this diagram, the green lines represent the overfitted model and black line represent a regularized model. 
So while the green line best follows the training data, it is too dependent on that data and it is likely to have a higher error rate on a new unseen data compared to the black line because it is not generalized. So it should it, it should be generalized in that case. Underfitting on the other hand, underfitting refers to a model that can neither model the training data nor generalize the new data. Okay, in both the cases, it is fail in that case. So an underfit machine learning model is not a suitable model and will be obvious as it will have poor performance on training data. So guys, this was basically about underfitting and overfitting. This is basically when we train the data in supervised model and we should train the data in a proper way so that when it will work with the new data, it should work accordingly. If it does not work accordingly, either it will be overfit or it will be underfit. So guys, thank you very much for watching.